will be picking up this matter if uh, the House does not achieve the requisite quorum to enable it to commence its business for this particular morning. Charge number three against the governor is that bullying, vilification, and demeaning other leaders. In this case, the governor is said to have excluded the deputy governor from county executive committee meetings and other official functions. The governor is also said to have engaged in bullying and posted demeaning messages about the deputy governor in WhatsApp groups, uh, in this case known as Third Gov Government 012, the county admin services, whose membership includes several officers, officers who are subordinate to the deputy governor. The governor is also accused of illegal appointments and usurpation of statutory powers. Uh, that uh, she appointed Kenneth Mwiti Riungu as chief officer without county assembly approval. That she deployed other persons to perform the functions of those sent on compulsory leave, this being in breach of a court order, also appointed unqualified persons as acting chief officers without the requisite competitive recruitment and recommendation from the County Public Service Board. She's also said to have recruited traffic marshals without involving the County Public Service Board, in this case, disregarding the criteria for establishing county offices, that is the Kitui. Senator Honorable Eno Kwambu are walking in. And of course, we are hopeful that more members will be getting into the chambers because uh, uh, this day has been set aside uh, purposely to transact the business on the impeachment hearing over the Meru Governor Akawira Mwangaza. Uh, the hearing is slated for today and tomorrow, Wednesday, the 8th of November. And uh, the speaker, who has already taken the chair, is that uh, was to make a communication this morning, guiding the House on how this process will be uh, taken through. And then uh, the members were to proceed on a pre-hearing meeting in a closed session. Uh, but the members have not yet made their way to the chambers for that particular guidance or communication from the chair to know how they will be going about this matter and that necessitated or rather that is what has necessitated the 10 minute quorum bell that is Narok Senator who is also the minority whip Honorable Olekina Le Dama they are getting in so as the quorum bell is on we will be seeing the members walking in once the quorum is achieved this time round being hopeful that the sergeant at arms will alert the clerk and the speaker that the quorum has been achieved and the speaker will uh, call the house to order for the commencement of the house but as you can see no members yet to make the requisite quorum at the table of the speaker engagements our own from the clerk to the uh, a number of senators there of course maybe engaging on how uh, this uh, will uh, be picked up if uh, the uh, quorum is not achieved but this is the second quorum bell remember the first one has lapsed and this is uh, the second bell that is uh, the Vihiga senator Godfrey Osotsi and uh, of course we will be hearing from the speaker on how he will be guiding the house the way forward if uh, the quorum is not achieved 15 members just to remind you uh the or rather is the number that is required the speaker is talking let's listen in the bell for a further 10 minutes
yet another 10 minute quorum bell. If the 10 minutes this time round laps, that will be a cumulative of 30 minutes. Is it that the members were not aware that the sitting will be starting at 9? Maybe they thought it will be starting at 9.30 as the usual, or rather the normal plenary sitting, especially the one that uh, is held on a Wednesday. It usually starts at uh, 9.30. Uh, perhaps uh, the members will be making calls to their colleagues to remind them that uh, this morning there was this uh, a sitting uh, that is meant to be hearing the impeachment uh, proposals of, uh, from the County Assembly of uh, Meru that uh, resolved to have the Governor Honorable Kawira Mwangaza be removed from office by impeachment and that uh, the Senate on Tuesday resolved to have this matter be heard and determined at the plenary sitting or the plenary way. Remember the Senate last week found itself a bit sharply divided on how to or rather the best approach uh, to hear and determine this case and the majority of the numbers resolved to have uh, the matter be heard and determined at uh, the plenary sitting. A number of impeachment um, hearings that uh, have, been, have taken place at uh, the Senate is that uh, have uh, been heard and determined at a committee uh, level of 11 members but this was not agreed upon last week when they were looking at the best approach to look at this matter and the matter was resolved to be heard at uh, the plenary. Uh, so this marks the first sitting and first day to hear the impeachment uh, proposal as forwarded to the Senate. And uh, this morning the House was uh, to sit, get a communication from the Speaker on the, on, and guide them on how to go about uh, the case. Then the members were to proceed on a pre-hearing meeting or rather retreat on a pre-hearing meeting in a closed door session, then resume the sittings um, and be open to the public at around 11 a.m. So up until now, the chair or rather the speaker has taken the seat. A few members are in the chambers, but the quorum, the quorum is the elephant in the house. It has not been achieved yet. Fifteen members have not been able to make their way to the chambers to enable the House to commence its business. Of course, we can say that is paralyzing the House business this morning. And of course, we'll be waiting to see whether the quorum is achieved. If uh, this uh, quorum uh, bell that is currently underway, it is another 10-minute quorum bell that is underway. It's a, it's a 10 minute. If uh, uh, the number is not achieved, at the lapse of these 10 minutes, then it will be a, a cumulative of 30 minutes of waiting for the senators to make their way to the chambers for uh, this uh, uh, sitting. Is it because it is a chilly morning or maybe they uh, thought that uh, the sitting will start at 9.30? We will be waiting to see how that uh, pans out. Uh, but as it is, is that uh, uh, today's morning sitting was uh, uh, the... A commencement or mark the beginning of the impeachment hearing of uh, the governor of Meru. This is Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, having uh, been. All right, those are more members. That is the deputy uh, speaker of the Senate, Honorable Kathuri Murungi, of course, walking in and followed uh, by various members. Hopefully, that the number this time round will uh, be achieved. The time now is 9.33, and we can see the members walking in in numbers. Uh -huh. And in a few minutes, of course, we are hoping that uh, the Sajeta Terms will you know, indicate to us, or rather to the speaker, that finally the quorum has been achieved. Nyeri, Senator, they are walking in with the uh, majority leader, uh, Honorable Aaron Chariot, you see. So the quorum has been achieved. The quorum has been achieved finally at 9.33. So allow me to hand you over to this live broadcast. Good morning. Much later. Kindly take your seats. Honorable Senator's order, Senator Ledama, kindly take your seat. 
majority majority leader majority leader you should be helping the chair to bring calm in the in the house Clark, you may proceed to call the first order. Order number one, communication from the chair. Now, honorable senators, you will recall that at the sitting of the Senate held on Tuesday, on Thursday, 2nd November 2023, I appointed Tuesday 7th and Wednesday 8th, November 2023 as the days when the Senate will hear the charges for the proposed removal from office by impeachment of Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, the Governor of Meru County. Subsequently, a procedural motion for the alteration of the sitting time of the Senate for Tuesday 7th and Wednesday 8th, November 2023 to facilitate the impeachment hearing again as the Governor of Meru County was considered and approved by the Senate on Thursday, 2nd November 2023. Consequently, a hearing program has been prepared and appended to today's order paper. Honorable Senators, as is the tradition, and in line with the schedule of activities for an impeachment hearing and plenary, the Senate will hold a closed preparatory session to discuss the management of the investigation. This is aimed at ensuring that the process is conducted seamlessly and concluded timeously, in line with the requirements set out under the County Governments Act and the Senate Standing Orders. I now, therefore, direct that all members of public, including the media, to withdraw from the galleries and any form of bro broadcast from the chamber to cease forthwith. The open session and hearing will thereafter commence at 11 a.m. as per the hearing program. I thank you. Well, as I had indicated earlier, is that uh, the speaker was to make a communication to the senators, uh, guiding them on how the process will be going, and that communication has been made. Then uh, the members we are, are retreating to a pre-hearing uh, session. Uh, this is a closed session, so they will be done by 11. It will be open to the public at 11 a.m. Allow me to hand it back to our studios in KBC 